Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. But, but, aren't we supposed to be like children? Hey God, make up your mind. Hey there and welcome back. I thought I'd try to help sort out how we should grow up and how we should remain childlike. Keep watching. True story. I was venting, I suppose, to a, a friend at church and he actually told me to grow up and I went, what? I was appalled at that. I mean, I always thought I was doing the grown up things all along. Then he expanded on that and explained it and said he too needed to grow up in certain ways. So that helped to calm me down a little bit. So I thought I would pass on to you what I learned, which is the whole reason for my channel. As I learn, I want to pass it on because I get so excited about it. So yes, we need to grow up, but we also should be childlike. And I know that's so confusing. Oh, I'm so confused. Let's open the Bible and read some scriptures. Second Peter chapter one, verses five through 12 says, for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with, steadfa with steadfastness and steadfastness with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks these qualities is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. However, Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 and 14 says, Then children were brought to him that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. I'm also reminded of the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verses 20 through and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So keeping all of these scriptures in mind, I want to sort things out and keep things short and sweet. I'll tell you five ways you should grow up and five ways you should remain childlike. First, we need to grow our virtue. To me, that means even when no one is looking, you do what you know is right. Second, we need to grow our knowledge. Keep reading. Read the Bible, obviously. But there are other good authors you ought to be reading in addition to, like C.S. Lewis, A.W. Tozer, Lee Strobel, Oswald Chambers, um, and there's plenty others. And I put a link below in the description to, to give you other authors you can be reading. Three, we need to grow our self-control. Be slow to anger. Don't yell at others. Don't cause scenes. Don't let your anger get the best of you. Four, steadfastness. I wasn't positive I knew what this word meant, so I looked it up. Here's one of the definitions. Stability and firmness, fixed fixedness in place or position. That tells me that you're not wishy-washy. You're not going to change your views on something just because you're being pressured or bullied by others. You stand firm to what you believe in. Forbearance. I looked this one up too because I wasn't quite sure. Here's one of the definitions. Tolerance and restraint in the face of provocation. Patience. That means when someone cuts you off the road or tries to push your buttons to get a reaction out of you, 
you don't whip out your AK-47 and blow them away, okay? Say hello to my little friend! Now, here's five ways we ought to remain like children. Grow your joy. You notice how small children just seem to be so happy all the time. They're always so joyful. That is something we should take into our adulthood. Grow your enthusiasm. Have you noticed how children seem to get so excited about anything? Oh, we're going out to eat? Yay! Oh, we're going to swim? Yay! How come adults don't jump up and down, huh? We should be more like children, shouldn't we? Grow your neediness. Children know they need their mommy and daddy. They actually expect us to, to care for them. And God wants us to need him. He wants to help us, but he wants us to realize that we can't do it all ourselves and that we need his help. So stop trying to act like you don't need anybody else's help. Grow your trust. Yeah, I know that one hurts a little. I'm sure some dum-dums out there killed your trust in your brother or sister, right? But let's not forget, we can always trust God and we can always trust Jesus. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3 says, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Always look up. You notice how small children look up a lot? They look up at their parents, their aunts and uncles, other adults. They look up at the sky. They look up a lot. And you know what? We should be more like them. Not only mentally, but physically. Let's look up. Let's look up at the sky, at the clouds. Enjoy the sunrises and sunsets. So, grow up, but be childlike too. Confusing, but I'm always up for a challenge. How about you? If you like this video, please like and share with someone who you believe needs this message. And what adult do you admire for keeping their childlike qualities? Comment below and let me know. Take care, read often, pray more, and I'll talk to you again soon.